Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. As we have started Tekla Structural Designer tutorial series, and we have started modeling and designing a building. And in this lecture, I, I mean in our previous lecture, I have shown that how we analyze that and how we uh, found its data. And in this lecture, I am going to show that how we will uh, design that and uh, how we will get its detailing also. So let's start and if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So let's start. First of all, I will open our previous model. This is our previous model. You know that about it. Um, you know about it that this is our model. Let's get that. So now I'm going to and from here I'm just going to uh, design that so to design just you have to click here design option and they have many options analysis and design is still analysis and design concrete so we'll design concrete as it is concrete structure so they have a option design concrete gravity so uh, the perform analysis of here it's telling us perform analysis of gravity load combination and then design concrete member based on individual auto design setting but if we use that it will uh, design for all i mean uh, every types of load i mean uh, like wind load lateral load gravity load for every load it will design okay and they have another option we can also design our model for wall gravity load and all seismic load okay so i will just click here and we'll wait for a design it's all designing so it will take some time as I am screening also and if you new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also share our video with your engineer friends and in this channel also there are many civil engineering basic video and also many software related video so I think that will be helpful for you so our model is ok but when we are seeing the category phase we are seeing that it is the fail and we are seeing that our almost our wall element are being failed ok our all element are being failed so we will pass that but how will pass that fail ok so if we go here that is a member so design this is the, uh, the display the number of utilization ratio here is number is code a color code to indicate its design utilization ratio okay so depth ratio here is the depth ratio display the beam span to depth utilize utilization ratio okay so each beam is color coded to indicate its span to depth utilization ratio okay so here is the status if we see the status it's uh, failing and here is the ratio if we see that the ratio uh, at which level it's ra um, failing it will sh uh, show us that for uh, that level so 
also uh, if we see here our I mean our failing level are very low um, here uh, only 20% or 40% failing so okay and status if we see here the status and uh, also sorry this is for foundation and this for design so here are uh, almost if we see here it's the first floor second floor third floor fourth floor these are every floor now just we are seeing that our that elementor being failed so what we'll do okay what we'll do so just uh, we can change that and they have another thing each member is color code to indicate uh, its auto design setting on or off click on the member toggle to setting so just um, we can click here auto or check design so if we click here one off okay and not so if we see the diaphragm included the fixed or pinned okay what is the fixed or pinned so our every model or I mean every point are fixed so if we see here our FD here are fixed in design okay and here reinforcement or slab reinforcement I use property grid to review and edit or rotationalize plane okay so it's done after that finally also from here and finally we can go here the design data and tabular data just we'll click here and just see here just see here here almost our FD model are being I mean every beam are being failed so here if we see our from 19 I mean I mean I mean from a 19 number column it's not failing but it's showing a big warning so if we see in 3d here and design status and if I move that in our every corner beam I mean in our every corner columns are being failed but here the middle columns are not failing so So we'll choose check that what is the issue here. So from here we'll go here the review. Review data. Okay. So from here uh, just we'll see here all beam that whose beam are being failed. So from here we're seeing that uh, the maximum beam are being failed. So I'll just click a result and from here the fast beam are passed so if, if we see here our, our fast beam I mean our number one beam are passed this also passed 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 here empty data have passed okay so everything is okay from here and also you can change the bar size from here okay suppose if we select number four bar 
it's failing it's also number four bar it's also number four bar and it's also number four bar so if we use number four bar it's also passing then this is the longitudinal top bar this is the longitudinal bottom bar so this is I will also use number four bar and also use everywhere I will use number four bar and it's also passing so if I see the straight up bar it's three number three so okay and actually we can use number five bar number five bar here okay so this is for number I mean for top and for bottom number five number five so it's done and we're seeing that our every owner passing so we'll click OK okay so from here we're seeing that it's OK after that we'll go here again here it's also passed so uh, if we see here a number 5b2 are failing so we'll go here what is the reason here so it's showing us every section are being failed so we'll change property also other check and they have it's failing for other check so if I click here uh, our strap is ok so if number 4 bar number 4 bar number 4 bar number 4 bar just see that uh, now uh, 2 are passing and if we go here number 4 bar number 4 bar and also if I increase number 5 number 5 number 5 and number 5 it's also 5 pack and here it's showing for and if we go here it's also okay if we decrease that number five. just see that every beam have passed okay so here uh, for our bar size it's doing that I mean it's failing so if we press I just click a check it's okay then close then press okay just see that just see that now every one are passing here every it's have warning but it's passing right just see that to design a particular um, span please select the appropriate page and click ok after that we'll come here and for b21 b26 and b42 it's failing we'll see here for that what's happened just select number five number five number five and also for number five and here also number five and five just see here when we have selected uh, select number five bar it's passed again click here just uh, this two have passed so in this way just video are going very weak so in this way we can uh, design now the question is how we'll get our uh, data so just click here detail drawing just click here and it will open a AutoCAD file here we'll get your every data here just see here here is your beam column section here is your 
uh, beam section so and here is your reinforcement bar here is your uh, reinforcement for every section the end here the if we see that the total amount of reinforcement is 0 0.5 ton for that beam okay for that total beam 1 2 3 4 5 6 so for total that beam so I think uh, it's clear to you that how we'll draw that model okay so in my next video I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you about the particular particularly that how we'll pass wall beam and how we'll pass wall column okay so till then s well, stay connected till next video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like and share our video so tata